guys, it is Saturday morning and it is raining out. See this shitty weather? Come on. Come on, come on. But feeling good. Got a nice eight hours of sleep in. As you saw, I woke up at 2.11 today. Yesterday I was at 2.07. And, uh, but I had a big old ass burrito last night, so that's probably why my weight's a little up, which is fine, guys. Still looking lean. Still getting mean. Uh, yesterday also, I was pissed off because of the small old junior program. If you haven't seen my little, every day I do a video on my small off training, just kind of explaining in a little bit more detail what's going on, the weight I lifted, how I felt. So check those, check those out. But yesterday I wasn't able to hit all the weight for all the reps, so. But it's probably due to my leanness, but I don't know, I don't want no excuses. I'm gonna hit it though. Tomorrow, or next week I should be even leaner. I should be able to do it, so. Oh, just gonna kind of wake up, eat some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make my egg white delight breakfast, make muffin, egg McMuffin homemade, and then uh, hit the gym for some deadlifts. Today is five by five deadlifts again with four ten. So let's see how that goes. Maybe some a little accessory work, double unders, under something like that. Alright guys. Freaking uh, working out. It's fucking raining and it sucks. But it felt good. Got the 5x5. Five five. After that, I did a Metcon. Kind of like a CrossFit workout. I'm going to turn down my fan. What it was was an 18 minute and wrap of 500 meter row into 21 double unders into 15 kettlebell swings with 24 kilograms or 53 pounds so that was pretty good i got uh, six rounds with 10 seconds left and then i was like i mean i could could have rode for 10 seconds but whatever what's the point i'm not in a competition or anything and so i just burned that out definitely burned a lot of calories felt good i'm still dripping sweat it's been like a half hour rolled out after that but fun times about to head home People are getting mad at me because I'm sitting here in the parking lot, but it's like, fucking go find another parking spot, you dickhead. Like, what the fuck's your problem? I got, I'm, I'm allowed to warm up my car and sit here, so. Bounce! <laughs> so, I'll go home. Pro I'm thinking about making, like, an omelet or chicken. Probably maybe just chicken with rice. Just keep it easy. I already have it made. So, peace, guys. See you there. Alright, I chose to go with the... Rice, rice and chicken, I already have it prepared in here. I just need to heat it up. It is one serving of rice, 110 grams of rice, brown rice, and four ounces of my chicken, crock pot chicken, and then I have one of these steamer fresh bags. Macros, two grams of fat, five carbs, two grams of protein for a serving, so times that by 3.5. There you go. And I'll show you guys how to make bulk chicken. Now, like one thing to get lean is that you need to prepare your meals. If you don't prepare your meals, you're gonna be like, oh, I gotta cook again, I gotta cook again, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can go out and eat all the time, but that gets expensive and it's probably not good for you, you know, eating all this processed shit. So, uh, what you need to do is cook your own food. And an easy way to do it is getting a crock pot. 
crock pot and our rice cooker. These things are awesome because I used to sit here with the pan, cook like, you know, four or five of these at a time. If it, you know, it takes like 20, 15 minutes, you know, for that whole thing to cook, season it, blah, 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 blah. And it just was like very, very time consuming. So um, now what I did, yes, this was 95. I don't know why it just jumped to 106, but whatever. Um, pretty much what I do is I measure out a half a cup of brown sugar. So it was uh, one, t one tea tablespoon or teaspoon, I think, was a serving. In a half cup, there's 24 tablespoons. Let me check over here uh, one teaspoon one teaspoon is four grams so, so one teaspoon is four grams Flip this up. one teaspoon is four grams so I measure that out it's 96 grams it was like 95 close enough so you pretty much you take that and you throw that in here the crock pot you know, spill a little, throw that in. You don't think it'd be perfect. Um, next, set this down. Next is you just take your chicken. And you just dump. If, if it's, since I do it frozen, I add, I do six hours. I add two hours. If you do it unfrozen, it's the four hours. So I just throw it in. Because I'm lazy. I'm show you guys a lazy way. So, so then after you throw in your chicken, after you throw in your chicken, you uh, get a marinade. So I'm going with teriyaki. I haven't tried this one yet. I tried the steak and chop one was good. The mesquite, yeah, mesquite one was good. This is the teriyaki. So we'll, we will try that one. Super goodness. And uh, you just pour the whole bot bottle in there. Call it good. And what's good about this is that there is uh, carbs is five grams. There's 24 per. The thing is, I don't track I don't track this or the uh, brown sugar because. Uh, Mostly the sauce and everything stays in there. And I'll use this uh, batch of like liquid for t uh, two bags of chicken. So that goes there. You guys can see what it looks like. So it just looks like that. Throw the top on and let it start cooking. And then in like about a half hour, I'll come around, stir it up. Um, and I'll add some like a balsamic vinegar. I have this glaze stuff. It's pretty good. So I'll throw some of this in there. This is balsamic vinegar glaze. Just a little bit. And so then after you get the chicken going, you throw in your like uh, two cups. I do two cups of rice a week. I already have some cooked, but so I'll, so I'll do that. And then I just, once it's all cooked, then you just start portioning it out. I do uh, 110 grams of rice, which is uh, like one serving of rice, which I think is a quarter cup dry. I measured it all out. Uh, and then I do four ounces of chicken and then veggies with that. So it is a good lunch meal. I'm gonna go enjoy that and watch probably some, watch some YouTube and then take a shower. There's an open house down the street at uh, noon to two. And I just kind of want to go in it and see it. They're selling their house. Uh, just want to see what they've done to it. Cause I've, up, I've, I mean, I haven't really upgraded my house, but I've done a lot of work to it and I just kind of want to compare it. Back from checking out the house, it was, you know, it's pretty, it was pretty nice, but I just like the style of mine a lot more. Mine's a little bit more modern. That one definitely wasn't. Uh, they also had all the crap on the ceiling and the flooring needed to be already done and I don't know, colors that they use. So I was just like, yeah. It's pretty good though. It was wasn't too bad, just not my style. Time to eat and this time it is going to be an egg white delight. This morning I did not make one. I was just felt like getting to the gym really fast. So what I did was just drink a protein drink. So 
So here's the egg white delight. Cheese, Canadian bacon, two servings of egg whites, English muffin, a little bit of ketchup in there. And I'm going to have my multivitamins, fish oil, and a flex pack. So I'm going to enjoy that, and then I am going to actually get on to a house project. Done with the egg white uh, English muffin. Um, so here's the house project. It's getting rid of that crap on the ceiling. Kind of already started over there. I'll, this week I've been, you know, just kind of just bringing in things, moving things, prepping it so I can start it. So there it is right there. You just spray some water on it, scrape it off. I try to get it in that trough, but, you know, it doesn't always happen. But we'll see how it goes. I did it uh, pretty much throughout the whole house. It's just very messy. Gotta change. <laughs> So I abandoned the idea of the spray bottle. Yeah, it cuts down on dust, but I went and got me a dust mask. And a lot faster than sitting there spraying the water and waiting for it to soak in and then having to scrape it. So as you can see, uh, Matt, I abandoned the uh, dry thing, it's not really working so well. Go back to spring. <laughs> what it looks like all scraped off now I just need to do uh, some cleanup clean up all this I had uh, towels down but you know some made it through and on the edges so do some cleanup um, wipe down all the walls They're really dirty um, fill in holes like this you know prep up clean up do a little bit of prep and then I think I'm going to save paint for tomorrow. I have a birthday party to go to. My grandpa's birthday party. All right, heading out to, it's called Beyond the Glory. It's like a dinner place. Like, that noise is just the uh, crock pot gun. Check on in, see look how yummy that looks. Gotta stir it around a little bit. Look what I found when I was doing my shit. You guys have it so easy now. This is fucking back in the day. Look, 2008, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, shoulders, leg day. Forgot I needed to stop at the store and grab some cards for birthdays. So right there, and of course the shitty weather. Uh, with that good food I had a uh, chipotle chicken wrap I had like fried chicken uh, strips in it lettuce chipotle ranch sauce some cheese avocado and then I got sweet potato fries so pretty much that's my fat for the day that's for damn sure I haven't really had much fat today just a little bit of cheese on my egg McMuffin head back home What's up guys, last night was good, uh, after that party I just pretty much just hung out and chilled. Uh, today is the start of the third week of Small Off Junior program. So today is, I'm going up 10 pounds on the, the smaller stuff, so it's 276 by 6. I'm going to go hit that and then uh, figure out some type of a CrossFit wad to do. Maybe some type of chipper. I'll look one up. I kind of want to do something with uh, the abs for sure. I always like to do that. So, going to hit the pre-workout and feed 
My little fishy. Hey, fishy, say hi. He's looking pissed, huh? Give him a couple of these. Doink. I put the fish food over there. I put the fish food over there. Dude, he's like scared of this camera or what? Go eat. Alright, see ya in a second. Gym, done. Squats felt good. I went uh, beltless on the first two sets. Shoeless and no knee uh, strap, or not knee straps, but you know, knee sleeves for the whole time. The first two sets I went beltless and then I put the belt on after that. It just can stay a lot tighter. So it felt good, it knocked them all out, six out of six, was able to go up to 10 pounds. I feel like the lower weights I can go up more and then as the week goes on I need to drop kind of down to like maybe five pounds, so we'll see how that goes. I'm probably gonna do that this Thursday and Friday. Um, so everything felt good uh, after that. I just did like a little bit of forearm work in some calf raises. Then I did a uh, CrossFit workout. Well, I mean, it's just like a Metcon. I made it up. So what it was, was five rounds as fast as possible for time. It was, what I do? I completely forgot. Oh yeah. Uh, 10 uh, lunges each leg, so 20 total with 25 pounds in each hand. And it was just you step forward and back, step forward and back, just in place, because I didn't want to use a lot of room. If I had the room, I would I would do walking lunges, 10 down, 10, or, uh, you know, just 20 total. Uh, into 40 double unders, into 10 dips, five rounds for time. Uh, I did it in nine minutes, flat, so. Pretty good, I guess. I'm not like a fucking complete, I'm not like a games athlete, but I'm trying to, you know, get up to that level at some point. But I'm just getting older, but I'm getting fitter, which is good. Uh, my weight was definitely up today because of all that food I ate yesterday. So, I'm not liking like where I'm at, kind of like stayed the same for the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to drop 20 more grams of carbs, which is uh, fine, 20, 25 grams of carbs, so I'll be down to like 275. So it's, pretty, it's still pretty good. I think it's because I haven't, I, since I've been doing the squatting stuff, I haven't been doing a lot of the uh, Metcons, like, pretty hard uh, during the middle of the week-ish, leading up to the heavy squats, because I kind of want to save my knees and legs. Uh, so that could be a contributing factor. After I'm done with this, we'll, we will see. Uh, I just took this up, so what it is... Four ounces of my teriyaki chicken. No, it's not burnt. It's just soaked in a lot of the marinade. And then I have potatoes and string beans with the sauce. That is uh, one of these. I threw it, all, I threw it away over. The steam fresh roasted red potatoes and green peas and all that white stuff is that shit off the ceiling. Uh, I'm gonna have that with my flex pack, multivitamin, fish oils. And then this is uh, 5 grams of HMB. If you don't know what HMB, check it out. It promotes lean muscle mass when you're like in a deficit. Uh, it helps maintain your lean muscle. It's also like that with creatine also makes your strength go away. I just I recommend it. I try to tell people about it in the gym. They never understand it. It's an amino acid. It's awesome. So I'm going to eat this. Then I have to go and paint. <laughs> Little update. Just got a, or I just kind of ran out of primer, so here, it's as, as far as I got, it's maybe to like there and across. Off to the store, get some paint. Cleared out. I mean, leave these there. but primer. Going to put the first coat on. Do you really need to see me paint? I don't think so. So I will show you the end result. Of it. I checked the paint and it's not dry yet. It's been like an hour. It's just this, I think it's just because of shitty cold weather. Like look, it's just not, it's just not drying fast. Like one side of the room that I started with is dry, but the 
the latest side isn't, and on the walls isn't. It's just like, bah. And it's getting kind of late. Well, not really. I mean, it's almost five. So I kind of just was like, eh, I'll just I'll just leave it for tomorrow. I'll just deal with it tomorrow. But uh, so you can kind of see right there. I start to cook up my veggie side, so I'll just show you what I do. This is just like a vegetable melody. This is a new one I'm trying out. So it has a uh, squash and zucchini in it. I've never, I haven't had this one before, but it's usually like carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and uh, I think that's about it. Maybe something else, another one. I think that's all in a veggie. This one's a little different. It's, uh, uh, let's see. It's the mint, the Normandy blend. Normandy blend. So. Pretty good. And then what I do though is I add a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and then a whole yellow sweet onion. So I can show you that right here. gets going. This is having to thaw out. So once that's all like thawed, kind of I got some low heat on it. I will uh, show you what to do next. So while that was uh, thawing out, I just took a little quick shower. Uh, I'll show you what goes into it. First thing is olive oil. Now you can measure it out if you want. Let me turn on the heat. Turn on some uh, light. I just kind of just eyeball it. I'm just kind of like, you know, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's good. Bye. So, I don't know if you can see the oil. It looks like a lot for what's there right now. It's actually not because I'm gonna throw all these veggies in there. So you just throw all this in. Throw all that in. Then you take your, I got this stuff from uh, Costco. It's a organic no salt seasoning. Just shit ton of that on there. Then some of your old garlic salt. It's almost empty. I go around twice. With so much veggies, you can barely even taste this stuff, but it helps, you know, release some flavors. Release them flavors. Um, take a spatula, whatever it is. I'm just gonna start mixing. A little bit mixed up. And I'll take your balsamic. Can you see that balsamic vinegar? You can track all this if you want. I don't. I just go like, yeah. Hey. I just kind of get low. I just go a little bit lower on the carbs for my daily intake. So 
that's what it looks like. And then I don't have a lid for this, so I just use another pan. Cover it up. Turn the heat to like, I don't know, medium low. Let that chill for about 20 minutes, so about 5.30 I'll come back. Stir it occasionally, and I will show you the finished project. Not project, product. Alright, it's been a little bit longer. It's been about a half an hour. I kind of got distracted, but this is what it looks like after half hour. Nice and sauteed, looking good. So, just uh, turned off the heat, and then I'll just kind of just let that rest. You know, get all the flavors. Cook, still cook a little, and then I'll uh, I'll portion that out into my meals for the lunch. Uh, and it tastes pretty good. That will probably last me all week. Uh, I don't like measure that out. I just uh, just eyeball it about like a cup, a cup of veggies. Makes my food taste good. Veggies, rice, and chicken. That's pretty much what I have for lunch every day. All right, guys, so that's about it. I'm gonna cook some dinner, or I might just go buy a burrito. I'm gonna get a burrito. Uh, and that's it, except for the day. I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night and nerd out. Peace. <laughs>